Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Here we like to do things budget friendly and if you are like me and have champagne taste but on a beer budget, these videos are for you. So clearly from the thumbnail, you guys would have seen that this is going to be a Timu haul but it's going to be what I'm returning and why. There is one thing I'm going to keep and that is what I am currently wearing. And I will talk to you a little bit more when I actually do the try on portion, but this is a two piece set and I ordered it in a large because the top looked to be it, like it was one of those tight fitting tops and if you're new here, hello, welcome. I typically like to get those tighter fitting tops in a larger size so it fits more loose on me. So I will talk to you more about that when I go and do my try-ons over in the other part of my living space down here. Now let's talk about some other things that I am going to be returning and why. Let me zoom you out here so I can show you. Now I'm not gonna be putting these on because I already tried them on. I didn't like them. I could not make them work. I have tried Timu wigs. I enjoy Timu wigs, but for whatever reason with this distributor, I just don't like the parts. Now, this was fringe and it's supposed to be, I, I cut the bangs. So obviously this one I have to keep, but had I not cut the bangs, I, I, I would certainly be returning it. But it's supposed to be something that doesn't have bangs like this. It's supposed to have long fringe that kind of comes down here. But the way that the front was, was so ucky poopy. So that's why I, I put some bangs in it. Now I, I did a whoopsie poopsie and I cut the bangs too short. So that's why this, this wig itself is not, not one of my favorites because of the front, right? Um, and the, and the fringe really didn't want to stay on the sides. If you notice that when I cut the bangs, it just wanted to lay in front of my face. And that drove me absolutely bonkers. I, you know, the only way to prevent that is if you were to pin it up. And I don't want to do that with my wigs. But the middle part, the middle part isn't decent. Well, it's decent. It's not bad but it was just that front. And then the hair itself is a little bit too shiny for my liking, but when it comes to Timu wigs and it comes to these full synthetic wigs, they're not bad if you put in something that kind of dulls down that shine like a dry shampoo. Now, let me show you the one that I'm on the fence about keeping but I mean, I really like the color. I really like the style. I, again, I just don't like the front. So let me show you that one. Okay. This is the one I'm really sad about. I love the hair. The hair feels real. It doesn't look super shiny and fake and synthetic. And I love the length of it. I love the curl. I love the ombre. But it is one that is supposed to be a lace front wig. But when you put it on, it just, it's so fake looking. And I, I was thinking maybe I could cut some of this and create bangs, but it does not want to lay like that red one does, like I just showed you, it doesn't want to lay forward. So if I cut the bangs, it's not going to lay forward. And I'm really super bummed about this one, guys. I love, like I said, I love everything about it other than that lace front. I mean, to give you, to give you just kind of a general idea, uh, where's the center here, okay? Just, do you see how just fake that looks? I don't hear, where's the center? I can't see it in my monitor. Let's see if I can. Center, center, okay. 
I don't, well, do you get the idea, right? You just, you see how it just doesn't blend. It doesn't blend well. But otherwise, everything else about it, I really liked. I mean, look at this color. I love this color on me. Well, anyway, moving on, I will show you the next one. This is the next one. This one has some really pretty bangs. Now, some of the other ones that I've gotten um, have really flat, straight bangs, but this one has got a nice curl to it. And it's not, it's not so chunky monkey where it looks really bad. These are some really natural bangs. But here's where it goes wrong. This part um, right here, right, right in here, this is where I go, um, uh, uh, because that's the part of your head that people are going to see, right? So again, just to kind of give you an idea, right? And, and the bangs, you know, it's hard to see in the monitor here. <laughs> the bangs are relatively a nice length. And <laughs> I mean, obviously, you got to you got to fiddle with it and do all the things, you know, put on your your wig, wig cap and but my hair's in this like big giant ponytail, so it's it's stopping this from <laughs> Being able to go straight on my head. Maybe, maybe that will help. I don't know. Anyway, that's, this is where it goes wrong for me. Is right, right in here. Because the bangs are kind of thin. I mean, the bangs are thin and they look really natural thin. But you can see, you can see the, the, lace or whatever is down there and it just looks bad but otherwise again it's it's a really natural feeling hair I love the curl I love the length I love the color but these are just little minor details and actually this distributor I haven't purchased from before I have when I buy my wigs I buy them from local warehouse and I'll get them three at a time so that I don't have to pay for shipping, but this one is a new distributor because I liked the color of that gray wig. And I just popped in there to see what else they had to offer. And those are the other two that I picked up. And that red one, I think overall is not a color that works well on me anyway. So, I mean, is what it is, right? This one is the worst yet. Um. I wanted to try to play around with a little bit shorter hair, a little bit of a bob, if you will, uh, with some beach waves and a little bit of uh, highlights in there. But here's, here's the top of the head. That is awful. This is what synthetic wig wigs were back in the day when they were not expensive at all, like they are on Timu now, but there is no part to be heard of. It's just this little in the center. I don't like that. I do not like that at all. I didn't even bother putting this on my head. I took it out of the bag and I just said, nope, 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 nope. Um, not my jam, not my style. I am not interested. So uh, again, didn't even bother putting that on my head. Now, I have clothes that I'm going to be returning. Then the first one, is this. Now, the reason why I am returning this, and I'm really frustrated about this because I can't even tell you how many times I've added this into my cart and they would say, product unavailable, um, here's your return for how much you paid for it, and uh, an extra $5 for your loss. Sorry about that. I've tried to buy this thing maybe about five times, if not more, and I was really happy that it actually sent out and it came through. But when I got it, I was like, what is this? 
this? This is nothing like the photo. So it's a dress and it's, it's a dress that has this wide opening neck, has a hoodie in, a, in the back, has that kangaroo pocket in the in the front. It does have the decal like the photo. So those are the so those are the three things that are similar to the photo. But here's where it all goes wrong. It is supposed to be a high low. It is supposed to be high in the front and low in the back. And so the top of it should be up, up to here and the back of it should be down to here. But they didn't do that. It's not cropped. That was one of the things that I enjoyed about that style was the fact that it was a high low and the color. The color is way off. I don't I don't like this yellowy color. Um, this is I, pretty much what the picture showed. So this is what I was expecting. But this was supposed to be more of a khaki color and it is more yellow. However, it is a very decent um, sweatshirt fabric material. It does have that super soft lining. It is nice and thick like your sweatshirt material should be. And so this is, it's good quality sweatshirt material. I might change my mind when I put it on. I don't know because um, I haven't done that yet. But I bought this in a size large because the last sweatshirt dress that I put on was pretty short. It was a uh, it was another high low, and it was a little bit short in the front. And so me thinking, you know, this is going to be high low, um, order it in the large so it won't be so short in the front. But then when it came, there is no high low, and for that reason it might look too oversized but again it's the color you guys the color makes me go ah i i i don't know about that one and um, there were multiple distributors that were selling this product they have multiple different colors i really really liked that khaki color so that i could wear a nice brown knee high boot with it and the yellow is what I got, but the other distributors were selling it for double to triple the price. There was a local distributor that was selling it for, I think about $40. Perhaps that one would have been the quality I was looking for, but I guess you get what you pay for in that circumstance. So, um, moving on into some more Timu clothes and the one thing that I'm, I'm returning this only because I accidentally bought two. I accidentally bought two of these. So the, the first one I'm going to keep, the second one I'm going to be returning. But it's a flannel, but it's a little, it's an extra little pizzazz on this flannel. So you get the um, PLU leather detail in the arm and in the pockets and around the collar. Here, it is a gorgeous, beautiful, long length. And I think this is going to be a great little cover up or um, just an extra layer for when, you know, fall is, fall is here. Now we've got this like fake fall where it gets cold in the mornings, uh, but then by afternoon it's in the 70s or 80s. So it's just a nice layering. So you can add on that extra layer and as the day goes on, you can take it off. But it is a very soft material. It is not digitally printed. So this is the inside, but then the outside has got this nice soft fuzzy. What would be nice is if this soft fuzzy was also on the inside so when you feel that up against your skin, it would be nice and soft and cozy on the inside as well. But overall, I really enjoy this. Again, the only reason why I am returning it is because I accidentally ordered two. And P.S. by the way, this is actually a size medium. So moving on to the next one I'm going to be returning. Now, this one was super inexpensive and I may keep it, I may not, but the, the material is not what I was expecting. So 
the 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 quality of it also really to me isn't there i liked the idea of the lace front i liked the idea of it being see-through like this if you can if you can see what i'm showing you the flowers is where it kind of all goes wrong um it's just not a very good quality lace and it's not sewn on there very well basically they just sewed one straight line straight across because it's not attached at the top it's not attached at the bottom and some pieces are already starting to unravel um, here so that leads me to believe that after washing it and wearing it, it might unravel some more and it's more or less like a cotton t-shirt material than it is a little bit thicker as I was expecting so for those reasons I'm thinking I will be returning this one I do believe I got a really really good deal on it so I will have to obviously go through the prices to determine whether or not I want to keep it. But here's the thing. If it looks like it's going to unravel right away, I might only get one or two uses out of it. And so for me, if I return it, it goes on to my Timu credits and then I can buy other things that I can share with you guys. So moving on to the next one. The reason why I'm returning this is, of course it looked oversized on the model, so I was kind of expecting that in a way, but sometimes um, the, the Asian fashion is the oversized look, and so I was thinking that they were probably just wearing a size too big. And if I ordered my normal size, we would be okay. But when I pulled this out, I thought, you know, this seems to be quite, quite large for me. So here's what I would say. If you like the idea of something like this, if you like this top, if you don't want it to be so oversized, size down. So if you wear a large, buy a medium. If you wear a medium, buy a small so on and so forth. Um, it just seems way too oversized for me personally. So for that reason, I will be returning this one. However, it is nice and stretchy. The material is nice and soft and silky. And these are really great little thin layering tops when you have like a tank top on underneath. And I do have more of these that I've ordered, different styles, of course, and you'll see those in some upcoming team hauls uh, once I get to that stack. But in the meantime, we're just going to be dealing with this stack and then a couple other things first. But here's another thing that I'm not going to return, but I'm not going to keep. So, this one I think I'm going to send over to my sister in Mexico. Um, hola, cuñada, if you are watching. Uh, this says Mexicana, and basically in Spanish it's you're marvelous, you're awesome, um, that kind of stuff. And But Mexicana means, you know, Latino Mexican woman, which I am not. I am not uh, Latino. However, what's really funny, you guys, is if I stand next to Israel and we are out and we're talking to people, people automatically assume that I am a Latina. And I it, and it's and it's cute. Um, I I I enjoy it because um, it kind of makes me feel like I fit in. A little bit more when I'm, I'm at parties and I'm like the only white white girl there so it it it, it makes me feel good that I, I feel like I'm fitting into um, fitting into the the party and not not being the the standout so the next one um, I know you guys, some of you guys really love to see Koi doing her, her little catwalk. So I had this idea. I thought maybe, and I would start off with just one, to buy her some kitty cat fashions. So when she's doing her little catwalk across the screen, you'll see her all dressed up and gorgeous as well. But I tried to put this on her. 
and she wasn't having any of it. And I didn't want to continue trying and push it. I don't like to do that to my animals. I don't want to force them to wear cute Halloween costumes or things like that. Um, if, if they just are not having it or if they don't like the idea of it being on. I know that my dogs don't like it when I put a winter jacket on them, but in, in the winter time, I will put boots and I will put winter jackets on my dogs if we are going out. Because here's the thing, if you are wearing clothes, you're wearing a tank top, a long sleeve shirt, a sweater, and then a jacket, and you're out and you're cold, chances are your dog is too. And equally as you would get frostbite on your patas if you went out barefoot in the snow, your dog can too. So I will, I will force them to do those kinds of things because that is for their health and for their safety. But for fun, for funsies, if they don't want it, I will not do it. So it was kind of sad, but I get it, right? Um, yeah, you know, she just wasn't having it, and I'm again not gonna force her, but I was sad because some of these little dresses are just adorable, and the price was pretty good too. So I mean, five dollars for something like this is not a horrible price, and they had some adorable, adorable ones, but they were all decked out and they were all frou frou frilly, and I just thought maybe less is more for her just to start off with to try. Um, so I got this one, which is for me in my opinion, relatively simple, um, but she didn't like it. She didn't like it and it's getting returned and I'm glad that I didn't spend too much money on it um, to begin with so that it wasn't such a huge waste of money. Just in case for whatever reason I can't return it, I can maybe give it to somebody else who has a, a small dog or something like that, that they wanna dress up in the winter time and, and have something warm. So. There's that. I tried, you guys. I tried to put something cute on her for for you koi fans, so that when when she's when I'm doing fashion, she can she can be doing her fashion. Next ones, um, I got these in a large, and they were under a dollar, and so they were beautiful. I love them. I really want to be doing the short nails. I got them in a size large. The see the little finger majigger is tagged off. Says large. There's no way these are large. There is absolutely no way. Um, my nails are really gross, you guys. Um, side note, squirrel. I've been really stressed out, and I've been chomping at my nails. That's why I haven't put on another set. Plus, I'm trying to film um, how to fix your fallen apart uh, <laughs> closet when you have too many clothes and it just rips out of the wall. Um, so I've been doing con some construction work around the house and so I've just held off on putting nails. But when I got these, I thought, well, maybe I could just put the little tabbies on it for now. Um, but here's the thing. These, again, are not large. They don't even fit. Do you see how much gap there is? between my natural nail, so it fits perfectly on that side, right? But when you come over here, that's how much gap there is. There is no stinking way that that is a large. And here's the thing, I have four of them. Now these I did return and they did give me all of my money back. So now I just have four sets of small nails. But look at that color. Isn't that just gorgeous? Doesn't that remind you of an opal or a different kind of moonstone with that cat eye, multi-chrome color? I'm so bummed. I mean, the this is the thumbnail, right? So the thumbnail, the thumbnail is pretty much big enough for my middle middle finger, right? So when I say I have wide fingernail beds, I have wide fingernail beds, and they, they grow this way, and they grow this way, like little cat claws, and they're long this way, and they're wide this way. So it is very difficult for me to find nails that fit 
my funky nail beds. So I'm going to show you some more and I will be right back. I've got two more sets that I'm going to have to return and it's for the same exact reason. Which one was upside down? This one. The biggest nail doesn't fit my thumb. So I'm kind of bummed, especially on, on this one, not this one, but this one, because I really liked that kind of cat eye outside of the glare, if you can see that cat eye. Um, same reason, the biggest one does not fit my, my thumbnail, and I'm super bummed about that. So the first ones I showed you were handmade, and these are not the handmade. So this one, this one is probably a little bit closer than the handmade ones. And, and this is my big fat thumb. This is my deformed one. So there's a little bit less of a gap on that. This one will probably fit a little bit better on my smaller thumb, but see even that um, has too much of a gap. And my hand, the handmade nails that I usually buy, so if you're new here, again, hello, welcome. I have bought oodles and oodles of handmade nails with lots of little details on them, all the little jewels and the chains and the bedazzles. And I have not had a problem with those. When I buy them in size large, they fit my, my nails almost perfectly. But these um, press-on ones that are not handmade, they don't work. So for that reason, these are also going to be returned. So going into the return pile. Now, we are going to put on and do our try-ons. Hi, Koi. And I will be right back. Here is that two-piece outfit. This is the one I'm going to keep. Now, here's, here's my opinion on this. It's sometimes hard to get two-piece outfits because sometimes you wear a different size top than you do pants. And when you order something like this, it's small, medium, large. You can't swap out sizes for the different parts and pieces. So you get a large bottom and a large top. However, this top, and this is why I'm keeping it, actually fits like a medium and the pants fit like a large. Now, personally, I would have liked that to be flip-flopped, but I do like actually how it fits. So just to be, just buyer beware, this is a little bit tighter of a top, a little bit more form-fitting. So if, if you actually require a large, I would say size up. And then of course, the pants, the little jogger pants. And these are some of those, um, so this is that sweatshirt material. That's the good stuff. This is the good stuff. It's got that nice, soft, fuzzy interior lining. It's nice, thick, non-see-through material. It has pockets in it. It has the design on the pants as it does on the shirt. The length of it is not too bad for me. I'm again about almost 5'8 or so, and I've got a 32 inch inseam, and this actually fits really nicely on me. And so overall, I that's why I'm going to keep this because it is a super comfortable um, two-piece. Is that um, little kind of jacket, if you will. Now, I would say it is, for me, slightly tight in here as a, as a woman's medium. So I would maybe say if you like these sorts of things to be a little bit more baggy and a little bit more oversized, a little bit more room to, to move in the shoulders, maybe size up on this one. But again, this is the one that I bought two of 
And so that's why I'm just returning the one. Um, but I like, I like flannels. I like the extra little detail and the pizzazz and the way it just is. It's just a different take on a flannel, if you will. So I do enjoy it as well as the length. I think this is going to be a great little number for a little extra layer for when it is a little bit cooler outside. I may rethink my decision on wanting to return this one. It actually doesn't fit so oversized. It's not, it's not gigantic in the arms. I mean, it is, but it isn't. If, if you're the kind of person that this would be irritating to you, it might be an issue. Um, I, I personally like to be able to put my sleeves up when I wanna put my sleeves up like when I want to wash my hands or something and you're trying to wash your hands and your sleeves just kind of keep getting in the way. I like to be able to do that. So, you know, something like this, you'd have to be like trying to yank it up high so that you can, you can do that without your sleeves getting wet. Um, but it, the rest of it, it kind of has a little bit extra droop right here. Um, so for those of you who might get irritated by that, um, I would say maybe pass. So those are two things that for me, I'm still debating, but I think overall, it's not as horribly oversized as I thought it was going to be, but it's still not saying, keep it and maybe find it in your closet next year to try and wear again. So for me, I still might return this one. Overall, um, it this one, it fits nicely. It feels soft on the skin. I don't, um, I don't mind the difference in material from here to here. If you're a stickler for the way materials feel, this one might, it might irritate you. Um, it, it doesn't bother me though. I do still have my tank top underneath it. It might look really cute without the tank top there if you had some sort of strapless bra or a tube top so that you get more of this lace um, kind of decor up here. But again, this is this is the, the issue that I have is I just feel like this might unravel and, and come apart after wearing it and washing it a couple of times. Uh, that's, that's where my issue lies. So again, I will have to look and see what I actually paid for it, is it worth returning, so on and so forth, which to me, if I just do one lump sum, um, I think you can do that. I think if you go through and say return, return, return on a bunch of orders, they can tell you um, just pack it in one bag. So I do, for that reason, keep um, some of my Timu bags, but FYI, apparently now um, you have to pay to have your packages taped so when you bring it in you have to have it all taped up which i was like i gotta pay a dollar 25 for tape okie dokie then but uh, lesson learned <laughs> but i do believe that you can do a lump sum return even split between all of your orders if you are like me and you order a ton of stuff with different orders different coupons and different offers so just FYI, letting you know that. So let's move on to the final product, which is the supposed to be high-low sweatshirt dress. Clearly, clearly from the photo, this is nothing like it. Um, in the photo, it's supposed to be this short. So therefore, that's why I wanted it, is to go with a nice pair of, of taller boots, right? And then have it lower, um, like higher, shorter in the front, and then longer in the back. But my, my other one that I got that was a high-low in a size medium um, came, came more up to about here, and I have to wear some shorts underneath it in order to wear it so that I'm not showing panties or crotch when I raise my arms. So this is what it was more or less supposed to be, as you would have seen from the photos. Now, 
This is absolutely not flattering in any way. Could I put a belt on it? I, I, I don't even know if I could because of this kangaroo pocket in the front. I think that would just make it look super goofy. And it's, um, yeah. And there you have it, guys what I'm returning and why I'm returning it. I super duper appreciate you stopping by on another video today. If you're new, hi, welcome. I would love it if you considered subscribing. And don't forget, like, share this video. That would also help me out a great bunch and I would super duper duper appreciate it. I have lots of goody goods down in the description box below. If I am able to, do links for these products. I will do it in the description box down below. You guys know I always put in my links. If it's not down there, that means it's unavailable. Now, um, unfortunately, there are some things that I have been doing that are no longer available. And I will mention if I just can't find a comparable, but if I can find a comparable, I will put that link in the description box and I will label that. This is not the one I bought, this is the comparable. So keep an eye on that. I also have a short list of my favorite YouTubers that I like to watch that I think you will too. So check them out. But until next time, guys, I will see you later. Bye guys.